Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Blessed. Welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captain. I'm Captain Zavid, and to my left, Soldier Samuel. Uh, today we want to talk about how do you sleep, Israel? How do you sleep? What we have come to, what I have come to see is that currently in the body we got people that's married, right, that are sleeping in separate rooms, or we got people that's married that have their children in the bed with them, or we have single parents that have their children in the bed with them. And we want to look at some scriptures about that because what these things do is deteriorate our nation. What these things do deteriorate our marriage and communications when we are have these improper sleeping patterns. And we got to get better, Israel. We got to continue to grow as a nation and as marriages. Let's look at Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Yeah. Hear, the, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against thee, O children of Israel, against the whole family. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So he said against the whole family. The Lord was always about building a family, right? Because the, the backbone of a strong nation is the strong family, like the bishop says all the time, right? Go ahead. Saying, you only have I known. He only knows us out of all the, all the nations on this earth. Go ahead. Of all the families of the earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Uh-huh. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together? You got to understand, right? In marriage, we got to walk together. We got to live together. We got to be married together. We got to sleep together, right? That's what we have to do. Building a strong nation is going to start with us having strong marriages. And we're going to do that by building good sleeping patterns. We're going to do that. Let's go to Malachi, I mean, Matthew chapter 11 and verse 16. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 16. Come on. The book of Matthew chapter 11 and verse 16. Yeah. But, but where unto shall I liken this generation? Mm -hmm. It is like unto children. They are like what? Unto children uh -huh. sitting in the marketplace and calling unto their fellows. So what happens? What happens when, when we were all children, right? We all want to stay up late, right? Friday night will come. Saturday night will come. We want to stay up late and watch TV or, or do whatever, right? And then when we become adults, no one is telling us, hey, go to bed. So now... We stay up late, and we, we establish these bad sleeping patterns. And now your wife or your husband is going to bed, and y'all going to bed separately. Instead, and, and us in our mind, we'll say, well, I just, I just like to stay up late, or I'm just more comfortable going to sleep that way. No, Israel, that's childish. That is a childish thing to try to stay up all night and then wake up early. You're not getting good sleep. That is unhealthy to go to bed late because you want to stay up late. That's an immature sleeping pattern. That's unhealthy is going to cause you to, to not get good REM sleep, cause you things like obesity and stuff like this. When you don't get good sleep. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at Sirach chapter 31 verse 19. It's another excuse that people make why they say they can't go to sleep with their spouse. Come on. Sirach chapter 31 verse 19. Yeah. A very little is sufficient for a man well nurtured. Uh -huh. And he fetches not his wind short upon his bed. Uh -huh. Keep going. Sound sleep cometh of moderate eating. So you can do things like switch up how you eat. If you want to be healthy here, doctors say you first need to be healthy here. Processed foods are higher in the, in the glycemic index. They could lead to cancer. They could lead to heart disease. They could lead to gestational diabetes. Um, 
beyond just obesity itself. There's a lot of things that, that it leads to. Doctors say many chronic diseases and sleep disorders could be prevented if patients alter their diet and lifestyle. Instead of eating processed foods and sugary snacks, doctors recommend eating nutritious foods with fruits and vegetables. Maintaining a healthy and nutritious diet can keep your weight and sleep normal. Right, don't be eating a bunch of junk before you go to bed and now your, your spouse is unhappy because you're in the bed, you're snoring loud, you're gassy, you're making a bunch of noise, you can't sleep good. You got to change up your eating patterns. You got to change up what you're doing because staying up late and eating late, that's not good. That's not good for you to establish good, sound sleep, right? Uh, let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 32, 33. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Yeah. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. And that happens too, right? We get mad at each other in the marriage and we say, I'm going to sleep in the other room, right? These are different things that happen that cause you to start sleeping in the other room. And and when that happens, right, when that happens, you you got evil communication. So now y'all not talking, right? Because evil communication is just as bad. Uh, I mean, not communicating is just as bad as evil communication, right? So as y'all, as this thing starts to happen, you start to have these bad things in place. You're not sleeping good. You want to stay up late watching TV. You want to stay up late doing whatever it is you're doing, right? Or, or you want to, you know, you eating bad things or whatever. These things are causing you to not sleep well at night. And now y'all have to sleep in separate rooms. Like, let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. Let's see what happens next when you do these things. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and verse 15. Yeah. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God. Uh -huh. Lest any root of bitterness spring up trouble trouble you. So the root of bitterness will, will get in there, right? That root of bitterness, and it'll start to build things like uh, resentment, right? That root of bitterness sets in there, y'all got resentment. Now it's just a natural pattern for you and your husband and your wife, for y'all to be sleeping in separate beds. Because the root of bitterness. Because you won't do things like change your eating habits. Because you won't do things like cut the TV off. Because you want to have immature sleeping patterns. Things like this are, are causing root of bitterness to happen. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable and all. Yep. And the bed. And the what? And the bed. The bed. Undefiled. So y'all supposed to sleep in the bed together. That's what marriage is. Y'all not supposed to be sleeping in separate rooms. Read that again here, Hebrews 13 and 4 again, one more time. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Yes. Marriage is honorable and all, uh -huh. and the bed undefiled. The bed is not defiled. You guys are supposed to be sleeping in the bed together. That's what's supposed to happen. That's what's supposed to happen. Let's go to this one. Let's go to this. Let's go to uh, Micah 7 and 5. The book of Micah, chapter 7 and verse 5. Yeah. Trust ye, trust ye not in a friend, uh -huh. but... Put your confidence in the God. Don't put confidence in the God. Go ahead. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that life in thy bosom. Where does she lie? In thy bosom. The wife is supposed to lie in your bosom. Y'all supposed to sleep together. That's what marriage is. Let's look at the definition of marriage. We're going to look in the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. Right? The bishop brought this out uh, not too long ago. The definition of marriage. Come on. Marriage is an intimate personal union to which a man and a woman consent. Uh -huh. Consummated. And continuously nourished and by what? continuously nourished. So marriage is something that has to be continuously nourished. Go ahead. By sexual intercourse. By sexual intercourse. And perfected in a lifelong partnership. So a lifelong partnership. You gotta understand when the scriptures say ten two walk together except they be agreed, you guys have to agree. I gotta say, you know what? We gotta get up early tomorrow. Let's get some rest. Right? It's a good thing to agree. If you got bad habits, right? Say you're a brother, you got bad spending habits, it's okay to say, honey, what's some good uh, spending habits you have. And then guess what? If your spouse has better sleeping habits than you have, it's okay to say, you know what? You got, you're got you doing that thing good. You get up early. You can handle things throughout the day. This is something I should change in my life. Instead of being comfortable in a place where it's like, ah, oh, I just like going to sleep late. Nah, you got to change. You got to grow up. You got to be more disciplined, Israel. All right, let's go to this. Uh, so problem, another problem that we have, right, is people have their kids in the bed with them. Right? And we understand, right? It happens from time to time. I'm not saying it never happens in my house. It happens, right? But for that to be the norm for your child, your your your, your one, your two, your three-year-old sleeping in the bed with you all the time, nah, that's not okay. Come on, let's go to Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. Come on. The book of Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. 12. Yes, sir. As for my people, mm -hmm. children are their oppressors. Yes. And women rule over them. Okay. Oh, my people, 
They which lead thee cause thee to earth. So these children, these women, and you, they're sleeping in the bed with you, husband, right? They are causing you to err because you got to understand what are you building? What are you showing that child by you allowing that child to sleep in bed with y'all every night, right? You're not, you're not showing him what a, what a marriage should look like. It's supposed to be two in the bed together. She's supposed to lie in your bosom. You want to show that child what a good, solid marriage looks like. Uh, let's go to Amos chapter 3, verse 3 specifically. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 3. Yep. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So the scriptures say two are supposed to walk together. You, you, are, you are the representation of what that child is going to see in marriage. And you have to show and reflect that. You have to show and reflect that throughout your marriage, throughout that child's day, you want them to see and you want to exhibit what marriage should look like. Right? All right, let me get the book of Malachi, uh, chapter 2 and verse 14. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 14. Yeah. Yet ye say, wherefore, because the Lord hath been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, yeah. against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. So the Lord sees it when you deal treacherously with your wife. Go ahead. Yet is she thy companion. She is your companion, though. Look, the companion means that y'all should be together, right? We looked at the definition of marriage. It's a continuously nurtured. That means that something y'all got to continue to do. Y'all got to continue to work to stay together, to fight, to keep the unity and bond and peace in that marriage. Go ahead. And the wife of thy covenant. The wife of your covenant. Go ahead. And did not he make one? Yet had he residue of the spirit. Uh -huh. And wherefore one? That he might seek a godly seed. So y'all have to be one to create a godly seed. Y'all have to move in unity to create a godly seed. And y'all do that by you setting up uh, things like proper sleeping habits. Go ahead. Therefore, take heed to your spirit and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. So you don't want to deal treacherously. You got to take heed to your spirit saying, you know what? Do I have the root of bitterness in me? Am I sleeping in the other room now? I got the root of bitterness in me. Do I have the root of bitterness in me? Because I'm, I'm staying up late watching TV. I'm staying up late uh, eating food and not going to bed like I should. Right? Am I, that's deal, dealing with your wife treacherously. Right? You also got to be mindful, like we talked about before, it, it things like uh, not allowing that child to sleep in the bed with you because things like accidents can happen, right? Sudden infant death syndromes, right? Fatal sleeping accidents. These things can happen, Israel. So you got to make sure that you keep your family and your household safe by setting up proper sleeping patterns. So how do you sleep, Israel? With that, we say shalom. shalom. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.